Okay, with the uh, no demolition derbies going on around me right now, uh, we are late June, so usually I've done about six by this time of year, and I've done none. There's an event coming up that uh, so far hasn't been cancelled, and I'm kind of excited for it. It is, I believe it's $60 to race, and last year my buddy won it, and he won $120. It is called Sweet Peas Mud Bog Mad Max Race. <sighs> you know what, I'm just itching to get inside of a car, to be honest. So what we have here is my Lexus. Now this Lexus here, well, it's been a huge hunk of shit, to be honest. The entire time I've owned it, it's, it's been a big hunk of shit. Um, I drove it on the road for probably nine months. Uh, I got into a couple fender benders. That one was not my fault. This one was my fault. Icy roads right before I went away and kind of ate it into another car. But anyway, we're going to pull this thing out today. Uh, we have to remove that headlight, that blinker. Uh, we have to remove the front bumper. We have to remove the rear taillights. And that is about it. Uh, it hasn't ran in probably five, six months. February, four months. But we're going to start it up today and we're going to drive it out. Now because I have it parked so close to each other, I don't think it's going to run. What we got to do is we got to hook a chain to it, we got to pull it out, and then I'm pretty sure when I park them, I park them all in neutral. So it should fire up. So uh, let's get a chain hooked up to this and pull this out. We're going to be using my new Rabbit. Or Jetta, whatever the heck it is. So let's get going. Well, that was kind of nice. But now, I'm soaking wet. Look at the mullet! Look at the mullet! The uh, uh, bright and sunny day just turned into a torrential downpour. So yeah, that kind of sucks. Uh, we got it pulled out, but I realized that the 2.5 Jetta didn't have any tow points, so I quickly drove my Camry back and just gave it a pull. Hooked the battery booster up and the thing fired up right away. Let's see if I can get this pulled inside the shop and show you guys what we got to do to it. So what we pretty much have to do to this thing is I'm going to take some of the air box away because the air box goes down and can suck up water. I definitely don't want to be able to suck up water in this. We're going to put a good battery into it and we're going to actually like bolt it down. So that might be a bit different than what you guys are normally used to seeing from me, bolting down a battery in the front of one of these enduro cars. We're going to pull this thing out, if it comes out in one piece would be really nice. What is this? Oh, this is so I could have heat in the winter. Don't worry about that. Uh, we're gonna pull off. We might even just take off the whole damn hood, believe it or not. Uh, power steering is a main issue on this. Uh, power steering kinda goes dry very quick. So we're gonna buy some vegetable oil. We're gonna fill that up. I'm gonna pull both mirrors off of it because the mirrors, don't want them to get shattered off. We're gonna pull the front bumper. Uh, we're gonna save this. I'm going to pull off this headlight, uh, maybe save it. Front bumper's garbage, maybe the fog lights are okay. Um, the back end, we're going to pull the tail lights, the rear bumper, and stuff like that. And basically just get it ready to be uh, off-roading. Now for the interior, I'm going to leave all the interior in this. All I'm going to do is clean it up. Uh, I drove this car for eight months, so you can kind of see how rough I am on my stuff. Cell phone charger, cell phone cable, a dirty old rose, garbage, Toyota Camry parts, night quill for driving, you guys know that. Up here, we have more garbage, more day quill, night quill. Uh, more garbage, an oh, X-Acto knife! I'm always looking for those. We got lots of pens inside of here. Safety glasses inside here. Monster stickers. Maybe we'll monster sticker the crap out of this car. Some change. So pretty much we're just going to clean out the interior of this thing. And uh, maybe take off the hood and tie down the battery. The reason for the hood coming off is because the latch is all messed up. And realistically, I, I got to throw power steering into this probably every 30 minutes or so. Um, but yeah, this thing here is going to be quite easy to build. And uh, hopefully we have a fun day with it. Uh, I had good luck with this motor. It's actually pretty reliable. Uh, it doesn't like going into overdrive, it's not super powerful, and the traction control doesn't work. So that's all kind of par for the course for the Sweet Peas Mud Bog. For tires, we're probably going to go with tires like this. This one here is doubled, but 
she's kind of mangled so uh, that's a 14 I can't run that on the Lexus anyway what's this one is this one a 14 this one's a 15 so we can run that one so that one will be going on here probably driver side because it's all right turns try to just keep that tire inflated as long as we can see what else we can find to put on this side that's somewhat aggressive but what we're going to do now is pull the bumper off pull the windshield washer jug out because that's got a hole in it anyway uh, maybe leave the hood on for another couple days because it's not till the weekend pull the headlights off all this fun stuff and then get it ready for the, the off-road race so let's see what we can do here in a little bit of time because I got to go to work in about an hour and a half. So let's get going. Well, it's 2.45. I got to go get ready for work because I start work at 4 o'clock. And uh, it's raining out pretty bad, so I, I'm like soaked from head to toe. But that's nice. You know what? It's been like 35 degree weather for the last two weeks. So I'm not going to complain about the rain at all. We have the motor just sitting here idling. Uh, what we're trying to do is just... Uh, Make sure it's not going to blow up because it's kind of been sitting for six months and I kind of have been very hard to this motor. So yeah, we're just uh, giving a little bit of love and attention. Um, you can kind of see the results of my fender benders here. And then you can see the upper rod support over here. I might try to move some of this wiring around this alternator and maybe that's got quite a bit of pressure but she's still good. Maybe try to shorten that hose up just a bit tomorrow. I've come up with an idea for tires, but I'm not going to let you guys know, uh, know it until I get them on. It'll probably be tomorrow, but it's going to be the same video. I started cleaning the interior. Didn't get too far. Really didn't get too far. And uh, got a little bit farther on the back. Got the rear seats out. Got the front bumper off. Got all the rear tail lights out. Got everything out of the trunk, so that's good. Uh, the car's been running really good. It's actually pretty rusty, but uh, we got the driver's side clean. That means something. Look, look at all the lights that are on flashing on this thing. Traction control flashing, ABS, windshield washer fluid, brakes. <laughs> but you know what? She's got a full tank of fuel because when I put it away, fuel was 61 cents a liter. So I filled her up. Now she's $1.10 a liter. So kind of happy I filled it up then. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna do a good tune-up not really we're just gonna check it for oil <laughs> but uh, make sure uh, actually you know what guys stay tuned because it's gonna be the same video but I'll be back tomorrow to uh, show you guys my tire selection for this thing because I have 16s on it now and they're snows but the problem is they're really wide so they don't really grip into the dirt very well so my everything is left hand sorry right hand turn so I'm gonna put a double on this side because I have one 15 inch double and I'm going to put a different 15 inch on this side because I want it to be a lighter tire, but I want it to have really good tread so it actually grips in. So, see you guys back here in about 12 hours, but five seconds for you guys. Well, here we are back the next day. Same video, and uh, we're changing out tires. We got a double 15 on this side. Now, I only have one double. So I'm going to run it on the driver's side because most of the turns that I know of are kind of driver turns. So that puts most of the pressure on this tire. It's got good tread. Not fantastic, but it's got good tread. Now I picked out this butte for the passenger side. Uh, this is off a of Bronco 2 that I bought that was pretty much mangled into a tree. But take a look at this. I got uh, out my little tool here. And we're just going to take away every other lug. There's no rules about doing this. just says that to be DOT. So we're just going to give this tire a little bit more tread. Uh, might take out every other one. I'm not sure. But we'll, we'll get this done and we'll bolt this on. I've already checked to make sure it fits. The rim actually hits the caliper, but I'm going to put a spacer. So she's going to be mint. So we'll be uh, right back once I get this tire done. Well, would you look at this? We got the mirrors off, we got the tire on, we got the double on this side. I might put some air into it because it looks a little low. We got the mirror off this side, we got power steering fluid into it, we got transmission fluid into it. I am going to pull the hood off, but I'm going to wait because it looks like it's going to rain. But mainly the main reason I'm going to wait to pull the hood off is because this race is actually tomorrow. Today is Saturday. And I just got a phone call to go to work uh, from 3 p.m. till midnight tonight. 
and tomorrow I have to work 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. So, uh, it does not look like I'm going to be making it to uh, the Sweet Peas race, which kind of sucks. I was kind of super, super excited for it. I've uh, been kind of waiting for this thing. It's one of the only events that are actually going to happen this year. Kind of super excited, but uh, anyway, kind of a letdown. But uh, now that this car is not going to Sweet Peas, I have two weeks to wait until I can actually make it to the Rivers race because this is another car that can compete at Rivers race. They just changed the rules to allow V6s this year, so I'm kind of excited. Um, my Lexus is a V6, and uh, it may not make it to the Sweet Peas race, which is tomorrow because of work, but by God, I hope it makes it to Rivers race. I kind of wanted to go to Rivers Race anyway because Sweet Peas is uh, just kind of a whole bunch of right hand turns. But Rivers Race is rights, lefts, jumps, everything. And that tire looks super, super aggressive. Uh, I might actually try to get uh, some of these rims back and maybe put them on my daily driver. Look at this thing. That looks pretty sick. I like that. But uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, kind of upset that I can't make it to the race there this weekend but maybe in two weeks I can have the weekend off and I can do that race I know this tire is gonna make River pretty unhappy so River if you're watching this sorry but not sorry this thing's coming your rule state DOT approved tires this is a DOT approved tire with some grooving done but I won't tell them that so don't tell River I groove this tire guys Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, be sure to come back tomorrow. Oh, I did do one other thing. I put a battery in the car that actually holds the charge, and I have it mounted down so it won't fly out this year, unlike last year. But anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, we'll see you back here tomorrow on Zach's workshop. And uh, I might try to find more of these rims just to put on my daily driver. Those look sick. Thanks for watching, guys.